rocks, beaches and waves, we go co-steering on our favourite Hong Kong island. This is Drone and Fun. Welcome to a brand new series of Drone and Phone. We're back in one of our favourite spots in Hong Kong. The beautiful Lam Island. But we've had enough of those two old guys moaning and droning about everything. It's time to add a little bit of youth into the mix. My name is Michelle and I make videos on YouTube. And you should check out her It's alright DJ, it's alright, we've got this. For this series, I am working with Caius. He's only 16, but already an accomplished mountain adventurer. Last month, he climbed Mount Elbrus, the highest mountain in Europe and the 10th most prominent peak in the world. He will be my guide. All right, so today we are waking up bright and early. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning and we're gonna be going co-steering. For people who don't know what co-steering is, do you mind giving a brief introduction? Uh, co-steering is basically just rock scrambling, but uh, beside the, the water, so uh, be warned, you might get wet. We're going to be going from Power Station Beach on Lama Island across these rocks towards uh, Hong Xing Ye Beach and then from there it should be about two to three hour um, coast steer to Lo Se Xing Beach where we'll stop for the day. Hong Kong has the perfect climate and landscape for coast steering. The simple goal of the sport is to get from point A to point B around the coast by climbing, swimming and occasionally jumping from the cliffs. You could call it horizontal rock climbing. The trick is to stay as close to the waterline as possible and to avoid climbing up the cliffs. Looks like we have to go back up this path. The rock here is a little too high and the tide's too high now. Co-steering provides a unique way to see Hong Kong's spectacular shoreline up close and away from the crowds. It took me a little while to get the hang of it, but with Caius guiding, we made quick progress. So we're about halfway point through the whole like route and it's really hot because the sun's starting to rise even more than it was earlier, but it's been fun so far, yeah. Our route was only about three kilometers in distance, taking us past Hung Xingye Beach and Kat Sai Wan before reaching Lo So Xing Beach, but it takes a lot longer than walking the family trail up on the cliff above. Now finished today's co-steering from Power Station Beach to Lo So Xing. So we've actually been really lucky today because of the nice weather. It's not too hot, but not too cold as well. So probably the best time to go is actually during the summer as you might get wet a lot. So just make sure you be safe because it's big waves, you're very dangerous. Michelle, how was your first day today? Um, considering it's my first time for steering, I think it went pretty well. Um, I found out that the steering is not only like a physical challenge, but also a mental challenge. And you helped me get up all those really sheer rock faces. And now we've got to the end, I definitely think overall that this whole thing was worth waking up at 5 a.m. for. Join us next week when we go upstreaming in Sai Kung. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe on our Facebook and YouTube channels to be updated with all our adventures and event coverage. I'm Michelle. I'm Caius. And this, this is, is Drone, drone and Phone. phone. Sorry. <laughs> So Michelle, I've got this fantastic idea. In the middle of the episode, you could have me like jumping off this big rock into the water. No, no, no it's me. It's me to do the jump. Yeah, yeah. I jump better. Yeah, but I can jump further than you, Jack.